Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to be talking about Evernote stacks. And what I mean by stacks is the ability for Evernote to have a kind of uh, folder subfolder relationship or notebook subnotebook relationship. Uh, it's a big request from it for Evernote and this is how they implemented it. So let's say I have a group of notebooks that kind of belong together or I want to clean up my notebook list and just have some of them hidden unless I actually need them. So in my example, I've got this notebook here called Portland Notes and I've got a notebook down here called Travel and really those two things I would say belong together. So there's some different ways of creating a stack and the way I'm going to do it is because I already have two notebooks that kind of belong together what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Portland Notes and drag it on top of the Travel notebook and now you can see it's put them together and it's created a new stack that's called Notebook Stack. Now that's not a really useful name, I wouldn't say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the stack and go to Rename Stack. And I'm just going to call it Travel Stuff. So now you see here we've got our new stack and you can see it's re-indexing it now. Uh, I'll show you why in a second. Uh, but we've got our new stack here and it, it's called Travel Stuff and it creates my Portland Notes notebook and my Travel Notebook and they're all grouped together. Now let's say I wanted to create a new notebook and add it to the stack. We could create a new notebook like normal and then drag it down like we just did. That's one way to do it. Uh, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to right click on the stack itself and choose New Notebook in Travel Stuff. And let's say I'm going on a, a European trip in a, in a couple months, which I actually am. So I'm going to call it Italy 2012. And now you can see I've got, it's automatically created my new stack, or sorry, my new notebook inside my travel stuff stack. Now, why might we want to create a stack in the first place? Well, one reason obviously is that we can close this stack by clicking on the little triangle here and now we never need to look at those sub notebooks until we actually need them. So that's one benefit. And then when we need them, we just click it on here to open it up. Another nice benefit is that if you click on the stack and then you search, so if we search, uh, I don't know, car to go, it will only search inside that stack. So it's a great way to limit your searches inside a particular stack. Now, what if we want to remove a notebook from our stack? The easiest way is to just click on the notebook we want to remove, right click on it, and you'll see here it says remove from stack. And if we remove all of them, remove that one from stack, and then we will remove this one from stack. You'll see that that travel stuff stack disappears and we just go back to having our notebooks in a list like before. So that's how to create and use DAX in Evernote. For more going paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.